coward, you scum. <laughs> I will spit in your face like that if I, could, if I could see you face to face. Israel first, Palestinian second. You are a monafic first and a scum second. And then a third, you're an Israeli. Just imagine the people back in the day when they would have to travel certain distances for months or even years. What is one thing that they would carry with them? The Quran. Why? Because they did not have it on their mobile devices or their gadgets. Brothers and sisters, imagine you have a app, the Qurani app, which not only shows you how much rewards you get, but reminds you to read the Quran, gives you reminders. Download the Qurani app now and let it testify for you on your Maqiyama that you read it wherever you was. All right, guys, so this is Luna and we're going to see, you know, how obedient he is when he's given a biscuit, as you can see. Luna, sit, sit, whoa, sit, sit. Good. No, it's all right. <laughs> okay, so that's a female dog. And as you can see, we came to his owner and asked for permission. He gave us a biscuit. You can see how much he has loyalty to his owner, his master that looks after him. So much so that as a random person who had a biscuit, he even listened to me when I said sit down. That's the loyalty of a dog. But not every person is loyal as a dog. And some dogs are better than some human beings, like Nas. This is what this individual, I don't think he's a Muslim, Munafik. He's probably Munafik. He's probably not even a Muslim. As far as I know, the last time he said he was this person was a nefar, yeah, hypocrisy. Here's what he has to say. This coward, this look at it. Look at what he has said. Personal thoughts. For the longest time, I struggled with my identity. You're a coward. You never had an identity. You are a coward. Like Malcolm X said, if you don't stand for nothing, you fall for anything. You are an absolute coward, yeah? A Palestinian court kid, kid born into Israel, like what the F? Okay. Many of my friends refuse to this day to say the word Israel and call themselves Palestinian and call themselves Palestinians only. Why the hell should they accept it? Hey, you think everyone's a sellout like you, you coward? Huh? Bro, I wish I'd come across you in life. Not that I'm gonna do anything to you. I would love to see you face to face. You coward. I'm not even Palestinian. But since I was 12, that did not make sense to me. So I decided to mix the two and become a Palestinian Israeli. I thought this term reflected who I was. Palestinian first, Israeli second. Just wait till the end, guys. Yeah, okay. But after recent events, I started to think and think and think, and then my thoughts turned to anger. SubhanAllah, was you anger, angry for the sake of your brothers and sisters who have been blown into pieces, who have been oppressed for the past 75 years, you coward? Of course not. I realized that if Israel were to be invaded like that again, we would not be safe. To a terrorist invading Israel, all citizens are targets. Look at how we cause those individuals who some deem as freedom fighters, yeah, as terrorists. But Israel and what it's been doing and killing, massacre men, women, children, you coward, you scum. I would spit in your face that day if I, could, if I could see you face to face. 67 kids got killed, massacred. Did you say a single word? Did you call the Israel terrorist state? Never, you coward. And it reminds me of a couple of other individuals like Faris, yes, and the rest who are quiet, who would never condemn Israel as well. Anyways, we will not be safe again uh, to terrorists invading Israel. All citizens are targets. So look at the compassion he has, yes? Of course, innocent people, no problem. But to occupying forces, military individuals, yes, there's a conflict that's going on. 900 Israelis died so far. More than 40 of them are Arabs, killed by other Arabs, and even two Two Thai people die too. And I do not want to live under a Palestinian government. You coward. You're not, you don't even deem yourself a Palestinian. Which means only I have one home, even if I am not Jewish, which is Israel. There you go, bruv. This is, this is literally a house Palestinian. Yes? If you get what I'm saying. That's where all my family lives. That's where I grew up. And that's the country I want to see continue to exist so I can exist. You cannot make this stuff up. Why? This guy is... Yani, should I tell you something? If you was my brother, bruv, I would disown you, bruv. You are the biggest scum, double standard, bum licker, shoe licker, boot licker you are. Palestine should exist too as an independent state. And I hope to see the country thrive and become less extreme. You can't make this stuff up, bro. Bro, you cannot. This guy is the definition of a coconut. The definition to become less extreme. So they are extreme for wanting the lands that were stolen back. And they are fighting to defend their self. And that makes them extreme. And not a single word of calling that state terrorism. No. And I hope to see the country thrive and become less extreme and more prosperous. I love Palestine. I am, And I have invested in Palestine. You are a coward, bro. You are a coward. Go invest in your soul. It's not my home. So from today onwards, he goes, I am. I view myself as an Israeli-Palestinian. Israel first. Palestinian second. You are a monafic first and a scum second. And then a third, you're an Israeli. So it's very clear, guys, that Supara, these people, these sellouts, this coward, wallahi, wallahi, if you see this individual, just look at his face and say, shame on you. Shame on you, you coward. You sold yourself for a few dirhams of money. You remind me in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Pharaoh and Haman, those who sold their own people. Very interestingly, the Bari Israel, they sold their own people. You remind me of them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swallowed him and all his might and his wealth and everything that you are putting first before your Palestinian brothers and sisters who are going through that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to destroy you. 
your wealth. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you suffer how your Palestinian brothers are suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put no barakah in your life. May he make you suffer like a dog and inshallah you turn to Islam and fix your ways inshallah and repent for what you've done. You flipping utter coward. I hope to God I see you face to face one day inshallah so I can see these words to your face. You are an absolute coward. No backbone. Shame on you. You're a little weasel. That's what I have to say to you. May Allah deal with people like you. Brothers and sisters, support your Palestinian brothers and sisters wherever they are. The link is in the description box below inshallah. And by the way, pertaining to the dog, we're allowed to pat dogs. And yes, it did lick my finger, which I would have to watch as the Prophet described us to.